What's up? Welcome to the video, day 115. First day back to the normal vlogs in what, like two weeks now? We're finally back on track. It is 9.14 p.m. I have had a very busy day. Very busy day. I got up late this morning. I was two minutes late to school. Um, made it, wasn't tardy, so that was good. Uh, I've done a crap load of emails. I've done a little bit of homework. Uh, did some work for Tech Inform. I just got my video shot, exported. It is now uploading. It is uh, 235 meg, done in 47 minutes. This is the fastest my internet's ever been. Colt, uh, Adam, you're probably laughing right now about how slow that is, but it's awesome from my perspective. And as I do most days, we'll use this awesome technology to do my tasks. Call Colton Fry, mobile. Calling Colton Frey, mobile. Awesome. Check this out. Maybe Colt wants to be in the vlog. I love iPhones. I would FaceTime, but the Wi-Fi is so bad right now since I'm uploading it would just be terrible. Come on, pick up the phone. Hey, you Colton Fry. Crap. We're going to get him. We're like stalking Colt now. Come on, Skype, 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 let's go. Answer your freaking phone. What's up? Turn on your video. Why? I think it's loading. There he is. Hi, vlog. What's up? He says hi. Holy crap, I cannot believe I just landed that. This is an Airbus A380 and I'm flying in Kathmandu or something like that and I took off from this airport and I flew over here to this airport which was not easy because I was going the wrong way and you can see that purple line there that's the flight I took where I went over the, I missed it I was too far to the left so then I had to circle around and come back and I actually landed it so I'm surprised I made it oh there's Colt again let me unplug him you can say hi or forever hold your peace Going down. All right. I guess he's being too realistic. There's not exactly a whole lot to choose from. This sucks. Guess we're gonna have orange juice for dinner. Right. So now that Kenan's back in the United States, for those of you who may not know, he was in Canada for a couple of days. I, I mentioned a couple days ago in the vlog, I pointed to these parking sensors, and I think only one or two of you guys actually figured out what I was talking about. Anyways, I guess I'll show you. I'm right here. This is going to be put on the tech channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys telling me what you thought about it and where you thought it should go, so I'm going to take your word for it, and we're going to put it on the tech channel. Here's the problem. Alright, uh, we're just going to test it. This is the, the second stage in the key. Here's reverse. Oh wait, let's close the door. What you're hearing is that. Now you, when you put it in reverse, it should activate the parking sensors. That solid beep is an indication telling me that it has disabled the system, the parking sensor system, because one of them is not working. So it's still in reverse in the second key position. We come around to the back of the car and we listen. See if the camera can hear. We'll start over here to the right. You probably don't hear it. There's a real slight beeping or ticking. Real slight ticking there. Here's another sensor. Slight ticking. Here's the final sensor. Silent. That's the bad parking sensor. There's also, in the back of the car here, which is locked, um, I'll take it out of reverse now. There's a it's called PDC. It's park distance control. Pretty much when you get within a foot, it gives you a solid beep and tells you... Unlock. When you get within a foot of something when you're backing up, it tells you to stop. It gives you a solid beep like the one you just heard. You're about to hit something. When you're within three feet, beep, 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 beep. When you get within two feet, beep, 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 beep. You know, just, just nice to have so you don't hit something. Anyways, back here, that white box is the PDC box. Cables come out of here down and then into the bumper. So this sensor's bad. Ordered a new one. They're $210 from BMW. Nice. Mine's coming from North Hollywood. 
This black trim comes off relatively easily. I took that sensor out, which is not working, and replaced it with this sensor, which is working. And when I did that, that sensor still didn't work, and this one did over there, if that makes sense. Basically what I found out is it's not the wiring harness, it's the actual sensor. Sensor should be here tomorrow, which means I'm gonna do a install um, how-to. There's none online, text or video, which I thought was really weird because it's a relatively common problem with these cars. So I'm going to show you how, if you guys probably don't care, but I'm going to show you how to take off this trim and uh, replace one of those sensors. If it were one of these sensors, which is built into the bumper, you have to take the whole bumper off, which would suck. So uh, that's what I'm going to be filming tomorrow. Okay, so I just rewatched part of that clip, and I started off talking about Canon, and then I totally got sidetracked on these parking sensors. Anyways, I'm going over to Canon's tomorrow afternoon. We'll probably do some filming there. He's back if you wondered why he hadn't been in the vlogs or anything like that. We were on spring break. He was home for like three days, then he left. So that's why I brought him up. I'm not retarded. At least, not that much.